When I first started researching what it would take to transition my career into tech, I saw a lot of videos and stories online of people who went from knowing nothing about programming to getting a job as a software engineer in just three or four months. And this seemed kind of hard to believe because isn't programming super hard or you have to be really good at math or something? But as it turns out, you actually can learn enough fundamentals to become hireable as a software developer in just a few months, even if you come from a non-technical background. I know it's possible because I did it myself. It just didn't go exactly as I had expected. So in this video, I'd like to share some of the factors that might affect how long it could take you to learn to code and find a job, along with a bit of my own story and how it went for me. So first, some brief context about where I started and how I made the transition. In April 2018, I was working as a graphic designer, but I wasn't totally satisfied, so when the opportunity came up to apply for a partial scholarship for a full-stack web development bootcamp, I decided to go for it. To apply for the scholarship and the bootcamp, I needed to learn the basics of JavaScript and complete some small coding exercises. I'll talk more in detail about how I did that in a different video. A month later, I was accepted to the bootcamp with the scholarship, but the bootcamp actually didn't start until October, so I continued working and didn't do any more coding until I started the preparation work for the bootcamp in September. Then the course took place from October to December, and in January 2019, I got my first job as an entry-level software developer. So in total, it took just under five months of learning for me to go from knowing nothing about programming to becoming hireable. And the total timeline was eight months from zero knowledge to getting a job. Of course, everyone's situation is different, and there are a lot of factors that will affect how long it might take you to learn programming and get a job. There are subjective factors that have to do with your personal situation, and more objective factors that have to do with the economy and the overall state of the job market. So let's look at the subjective factors first. First of all, what's your level of computer literacy when you start out? So how comfortable are you with the operating system of your machine? This can be things like, are you comfortable with creating and organizing files? And are you familiar with some basic keyboard shortcuts like copy and paste? Also things like knowing what to do when a program freezes, for example. So someone working in a job where they work with computers all day, like I was with graphic design, will be starting from a different place than someone who maybe hasn't worked with computers as much. But if you haven't worked with computers that much, absolutely don't worry, everything is learnable. Secondly, do you already come from a technical background where you may have learned problem solving and troubleshooting skills? People who come from fields like engineering and sciences may find that they learn to code more quickly because of their previous experience with problem solving. But don't worry at all if you don't come from a technical background. I didn't, and I know a lot of people who come from non-technical backgrounds and have become great engineers. Again, everything is learnable, and learning to code will teach you the problem solving skills that you need for the job. And of course, how much time you have to commit to learning to code will affect how long it takes you to get to the point where you're hireable. I was fortunate to be able to take the three months to focus on only the boot camp, but this will of course look different for somebody who's working full time and learning on the side, for example. When you're ready to apply for jobs, there are also some objective factors that will affect how quickly you can get hired. There will of course be variations in job availability depending on your location and the macroeconomic situation affecting the job market at the time that you're applying for jobs. To get ahead of the curve here, you can do some research about which programming skills are currently in demand in your location. Check sites like LinkedIn, Indeed, Glassdoor, and Stack Overflow Jobs to see what employers are looking for and how many jobs are available in your region. If you want a remote job, you can check platforms like Remotive to see what's available there as well. Finally, if you're career changing from another field, don't underestimate the skills that you might already bring to the table. Soft skills like communication and organization go a long way when applying for your first job in tech. So yes, the stories are true. It is definitely possible to go from zero to developer in just a few months. But I think what can be confusing about these success stories is that they often don't mention what actually happens when you start the job. It's a mistake to think that after four months, you'll know everything you need to know about programming, and you can just kick back and put up your feet and we'll know how to code all of the solutions. The truth is when you finally land that first job, it's really just the beginning of your learning journey. And by joining the industry, you'll be committing to continuously adapting and learning the new skills and technologies that are in demand. So when you finally land that first job, congrats. You're now being paid to continue to learn and you have a long, exciting road ahead of you. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give it a like. And if you'd like to see some more, then consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'm Lindsay and I hope to see you next time.